G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Well, should the Pittsburgh Steelers go and sign Juju Smith-Schuster? Here's my quick answer right now. No, no way. No, 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 no. No. All right, guys, everyone who only watches my videos for like the first three seconds, catch you. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Thank you, guys, uh, for checking out Steelers Australia. Look, guys, I don't think that the Pittsburgh Steelers should sign Juju Smith-Schuster right back. Uh, and, it, and also, do they even want to? You know, do the Pittsburgh Steelers even want to? They have George Pickens. They have Deontay Johnson. They have Calvin Austin coming in. They have Anthony Miller. They have uh, Miles Boykin. They have Steven Sims on the roster. Osheski, but I think he'll be cut, right? They already have six receivers on the roster. Are they really going to sign back Juju Smith-Schuster? How much money will Juju want? Uh, does Juju, Juju even want to come back to the Steelers, you know? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think so far, but I don't, I don't think they're going to sign back Juju Smith-Schuster. Just for one reason, right? I understand that he's a he's a talented player. He's physical. He's a, he's a good football player. Super Bowl champion. I get all of that. All of that. However, like I said in my previous video the other day, where I got in a bit of like, oh, hey, Mark, that's a skirt, man. That's a, sorry. Mark, that's a, that's a, not a skirt, that's a, a, a kilt. Don't you know what kilts are? Men can wear kilts. I understand. I understand that men can wear kilts and, and most men who wear kilts are from Scotland or Ireland. They have an Irish background or a Scottish background. So if Juju has a Scottish background, then call me Morgan Freeman because I don't think he does. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that Juju Smith-Schuster does not have a Scottish background. If he does, though, if he does, then call me Morgan Freeman because that, that's that's not going to happen. All right, I got a lot of I got, I got a bit of flack for that. Yeah, Mark, men can wear skirts. They they're called kilts. Now nah, he did that all for attention. Juju is about attention, and that is a reason why I don't really want to see Juju back with the team. Like my quick answer was no. Do I want to see this, the Pittsburgh Steelers sign, or should they bring back? Uh, Juju to the team? No. He's full of drama. Great player, good player, physical, can catch the ball, can run, he's fast, can do all the receiver stuff, but so can any, any other receiver in the league too. We have we have George Pickens on the rise, dead set. He he will do great things next year. I think Deontay will have a bounce back. We haven't seen what's going to happen with, with Austin. Sims, if they re-sign Sims, he can fill in for a good role. They might sign someone in the draft. They might go and get a veteran receiver, but bring him back Juju, I don't think it makes too much sense. Now, also, in other Juju news, uh, we saw this yesterday or the day before on Valentine's Day, right? Another reason why Juju is just he's all about drama. He's all about that TikTok uh, social media fame, right? Uh, it, it's just what he is. Um, he says here, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'll hold you when it matters most. He's just adding fuel to the fire. Fuel of a very, very, very controversial call. And I'll stand by my point. I don't believe that should have been a flag. I found this footage too on NFL Films. Yes, it looks like he's holding, right? But if you freeze any frame like that, that's a picture. It's going to look like he's holding it. If you go and watch the video time and time again, it is not a hold. It is a ticky-tacky call, and it should have never been called at third and eight. The Chiefs shouldn't, shouldn't have been given a chance to win that game that way. The Chiefs should have won the game with a field goal in a minute 30 to go and had some defense. They should have had some defense to end the game. However, the refs give them a bit of an advantage and they win the game that way. And then Juju doubles down and says, I'll hold you when it, I'll hold you when it matters most. Pissing off all of all of Philadelphia. Now, it's a little bit funny, but it's also a little bit in taste, uh, you know, uh, in bad taste as well. So here's another reason why too. We, all, we had Juju last year or the year before with the Steelers, and he talked about the Browns is the Browns, you know, creating that fire. And the Browns are the Browns, right? But it seems like Juju, Juju always tends to do this stuff. He's a social media TikTok, TikTok kind of guy, right? It's what he does. We, are we going to bring this guy back to the field where he's dancing on logos, dancing on Buffalo Bill logos, dancing on uh, the Bengals logos? He's, he's giving... Um, more attention to himself than he needs to. Why would you want to add fuel to the fire and allow the other team 
to use that against you, right? Now, if you're going to do this, you got to back it up. We have one bloke who kind of did this stuff all the time. Joey Porter Peasy would go into the other t- team's half, half and get in their face. But he backed it up, right? Now, Juju did the same thing, the, the TikTok dance on the Bengals logo, and I hate the Bengals, right? I still didn't find that funny. It's the same way that Hushman Zada would grab our terrible towel and clean his feet with it. You don't dance on another team's logo. It's just, it's just not the best look. And then the Bengals smacked him, right? Now, to end, to end, uh, end the near the video here, guys, or to end the video, Juju also tweeted this out in, in response to AJ Brown, right? Brown says, first of all, congratulations, y'all deserve it. This is lame. You was on the way out of the league before Mahomes resurrected your career on your one-year deal, TikTok boy. He admitted that he grabbed you, but don't act like you're like that or ever was, saying, you know, you're the best thing. But congrats anyway, right? And Juju says, glad you were finally able to get that off your chest after all these years. Good game, bro. Like, I overall don't think the Pittsburgh Steelers need the drama. They need the the distraction. That is Juju. I think they have better receivers uh, on camp right now. And the fact is, too, will the Steelers even think about bringing back Juju as a free agent? Do they have enough money? Juju signed a contract last year, I think, for about $3 million. Will they bring him back uh, for 3 or 4 $5 million? How much? What price will Juju be for a one-year, two-year, three-year contract? We don't know, right? But overall, guys, let me know in the comments below. I'm a big no. No, no, no. I just think he doesn't bring any value to the team. We have enough receivers. We have Muth. We have uh, Najee Harris. We have the good side building up. I don't think he brings much value more than being a distraction, right? And now the half the NFL, some of the players are seeing what he's like, talking trash on the internet to other players. Do we want that added fuel to the fire, as I said? that when we verse other teams like the Eagles or, or teams that he has run in with, he's going to be a target. They want to go and smash him harder than ever before. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I think he's a huge distraction. He's a great player and congrats to him. You know, he's been, it was a, it was a good stealer uh, at the time. He had a good year with the Chiefs. I think he'll sign somewhere else. He'll either sign with the Chiefs or sign somewhere else. I don't see him coming back to the Pittsburgh, uh, to the Pittsburgh Steelers. All righty, guys. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys later.